Hey guys, Reno here. Welcome back to GT Online Racing, and as you've seen by the title of this video, there's a bit of foul play that goes on in this race, but as you'll see, I drive over the back of a car to start with, that's a brilliant start of the race. I was like in the mid-pack, but Kesham and Slitch are on in this race, also destroy last place every lap as well, so I think there's obviously one less lap than there is cars, or one more lap than there is cars, either way, so there'll only be one car left at the end of the race, play like that, and I've been taken out within the first 20 seconds, but as the recoveries go, actually pretty good. So I'm inside the top five here, which I can't complain about after the start of one of these races, and oh my god, I'm flying! I've been absolutely launched, can I land it? Uh, yeah, I can, nice, nice 25 RP, I definitely deserve that, but um, yeah, you're not going to see what, oh I'm so sorry, yellow car. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time, but in a race like this, waiting is not a thing that you do, because, well, right on cue, taken out again, and I've gone from, let's say, fourth place, I think I was the highest, I've lost uh, 20 places in the same lap. I gained five, and then I've lost 20 from that, so, I'm still not even on the second lap yet. And I'm, I'm near last place as well, remember the races are only 30 player max. I need to get a bit of a move on here if I don't want to get taken out within the next 5 minutes or so. So that probably me about a minute, thank you for that Nero custom. Yeah, um, there's cars, there was cars, I'm in nearly last place and there's cars just everywhere still. I mean, what's that, the Italian GTB, that's not even, that is a tiny car actually. You know, I chose the XAT Proto because I want something with some good straight line speed. And I'd used the Nero Custom quite a lot recently, so I wanted something different, and I think this thing's faster. Because at the point of this race existing, at the time of recording, the Krieger and the, um, the Emirates didn't actually exist yet. Yes, so, um, either that, has the Krieger overtaken me? I don't know, maybe they did exist. I, mean, I didn't have one yet, anyway. But I don't think this race is, isn't that old, but I don't think I've got that far. Yeah, either way, I'm a bit confused. I mean, that doesn't take a lot to confuse me anyway, but uh, we've also got cops as well, but I don't think the cops end up actually showing up. I mean, we don't get, I don't think we get any choppers or anything. There may be one or two, but there's not going to be any cars, like cop cars in space, basically, because we are both the, um, the, yeah, Fort Zancudo. And yeah, there's, there's a few choppers around, but, you know, I mean, I've got bulletproof tyres, so... Oh, if somehow miracle a headshot at me, then the cops aren't going to be a problem. And we catch it back up to, the, I don't even, is that a Turismo? That is a Turismo. Don't see many of them anymore. I mean, it's a shame. It's a nice car. Really nice uh, to drive, like in terms of how it, the uh, the feeling it gives you. But yeah, it's definitely not something you, you actually need. And is that an Infernus? No, it's not an Infernus. It does look like an Infernus from the back. But I should have recognised it didn't have Pokeball lights on the back of it, like the Infernus actually does. So either way, through my rambling, I back up now into P15. So if I can actually avoid things, I'm not doing too bad. And also with catch up and Slipstream being on. If I can just avoid all these other cars, eventually I'm going to end up being back at the lead pack if I can just also, one, keep out of trouble, two, actually survive these laps. I'm in a real no man's land here at the minute. I'm only two people down, I think okay, I mean, that might be three people now. Yeah, this, this track's really long as well, I mean, for actual NASCAR racing, 43 seconds, uh, maybe for like the super speedways like Daytona and um, I think it's the other ones actually, but yeah, like the really long tracks, 40 seconds lap. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. And then let's just keep away. One thing you can't do in real NASCAR is just drive down the infield part of the track just to avoid all the other. Well, and again, there won't be cops shooting at you, and you won't be racing around your multi million dollar supercars in an actual NASCAR race, which actually might be fun to watch. If you're just like Ferraris, Bugattis, and McLarens and that all going around, and then trying to kill each other, like in this race. Except the damage will actually be felt by someone. Because doing it right here, because there's no curb boosting really that you can do on this track, so I think sticking to the inside shortest route, shortest uh, route around the track, is probably the quickest way to actually get around it. You don't really gain a speed advantage. I mean, you can probably do a little bit of curb boosting like that, and that's. They, did they hit me? I kept my line. They hit into me. If any contact was actually made in that moment, I'm only seven and a half seconds off the lead now, so I've been chipping away at it because I've been surviving the laps. And somehow the cops aren't interested, interested in me anymore. Someone managed to get a 5 star wanted level because the cops, I know, they gravitate towards a higher wanted level, so they're going to leave me alone. Well, no, never mind, no they're not. They left me alone for about half a minute, which is probably the new record so far. And I'm going to make contact with... Oh, 
They're a lap down already. I mean, they're in a, they're in a cheater. It's not exactly a, a quick car. At least not anymore. I don't think it was really that quick. I mean, the handling wise, it was really good. Back in the day, like 2013, 2014. It was a good car for me, so. But now then. Okay, we've got all the I thought this was the start finish right there for a second. I was like, I got around the start pretty quickly, but I know. Because both sides do kind of look the same. I just completely uh, forgot that I couldn't even see the pit lane yet, so. Yeah. I mean, just the top 10 as well, didn't notice that. Just been uh, picking off cars one by one. And you've still not got to the, uh, the, uh, the situation yet that it's highlighted in the title of this video. That is going to come a little bit further on because I can't remember the guy's name, so. You have to just, I'm going to have to point it out once I actually, uh, once it gets that far, if I get that far in the rest of the I mean, it, you see from the space that it came anyway, if I end up getting blown up before then. Now we're going to make a move on the Devastate, but the Devastate is a quick car on a straight line. Might be the quickest, I think, but uh, I'm not too sure about that. Like, like I said, with catching the Slipstream, as long as you're not in something like a Cheetah or a, uh, a Voltic, then you got a chance of actually uh, doing something in this race. I'm going to make the move there on another Devastate, and we're now into the PC. So we're going on the Verdi's Hero back into the top five. I think this is the car that I crashed into at the start. Let's try and make a clean move on this. I'm going to dive down the inside line. We managed to uh, force our way through the orbit to P4. We're going to go around the outside line. I, I do not trust these cars in front of me. They've all got the same idea, car boosting and that. We still have a back down in P5. There's been a bit, bit, bit of kind of there up in front, and there's a blue car that goes right down to the apron. And then we're going to follow them down there and just try and get some kind of like safe space. So I wonder why, why are all the cars up here the same colour? Why are they all, they must be part of a crew or something. But either way, we're up now into P2, we've got yellow headlights behind me, that's a telling sign. I'm going to go read down, oh nice try, nice brake check. Just brake check yourself at that point, because I knew you were going to do something like that. I mean, I've been in, in enough of these races, I've been in this race for near enough seven minutes. And we're a third of the way through. I've basically got the gist of how this race is going to be. Is that that's someone being uh, being allowed now just pushing this uh, this car around the corner and try and get inside line. But never say faster than that. Uh, there comes the entity out. No, I, I think that's the stock entity as well because they're going to be going faster than what we are due to catch up. But we got upgraded cars, so they're going to be showing them again. Oh, thanks for the brake check once again. What is this guy's problem? I don't even. I don't. Is it that guy? I don't know. I think we'll see you later on. I mean, I don't even know, I can't even see what his name is, so I'm, I'm just going to try and take him out, but I end up taking out myself. And, oh, no, I've been launched off the track. And, right, can I even recover from this? I mean, I can get the next checkpoint at least. I hope. I mean, it's a big circle one, so I should be able to actually get this, which I can. There around the outside line, and I should be able to get the next one as well, which... Yeah, that works. Now, oh, lap 11, just overtaking people around the outside line here of the track. Can I get back on there? And, oh, no, I've messed that up a bit. I mean, I think I could have made that work actually, just riding around the outside of the track, but uh, ultimately, this is the quickest way around because I think the. Uh, no, it doesn't actually disappear, but yeah, going rim riding around the outside line is not going to be the quicker. I mean, I think the wall stops there anyway, yeah. It stops here, so I definitely wouldn't, wouldn't be able to just carry on around the outside line. So I think falling off ultimately, in the end, actually saved me a bit of time there. I don't know, this is lap, e, lap, e, lap, lap 11 of the race, so we're going to be about half the field down nearly. Going up to, we've, got, we've got about 30, but I'm pretty sure this lobby will be in full. This car just gets out of my way and it's coming to the... What are you doing? I mean, I... Uh, okay, you've, you're full position. Okay, it makes sense now. What, I don't even know what you're doing. The wheel all the way. Can I get the checkpoint still? Yes, I can recover. I mean, I'm facing the right way still, so I didn't lose as much time. I'm just going to get out of the way of the earrings. I don't want you to take it out again and lose even more time, because apparently... People love driving to cars that are already facing the wrong way, just to cost themselves even more time. Yeah, I don't... Even I don't understand the noob logic there. Now I'm being uh, drafted by uh, this car, which I'm just going to let go through, because I do not trust them whatsoever. And they're going to get the switching with the car front. So they're doing it right, at least. They're actually uh, clean racing. As the car facing the wrong way, are going to come down the track right in front of me? Of course they are. Of course they're going to come down But at these speeds, you just got to choose a line and commit to it. And I committed the wrong way. But, uh... Yes, yeah, that's, that's kind of in a way like how most actual NASCAR crashes happen. You're going at like what 200 mile an hour nearly, and not around the corners, but in the straights. So about how he's right in front of you. You're not going to stop that quick. I mean, and then I mean, these cars are slower than NASCARs in real life anyway. But even at the speeds that these cars are going, there's not a whole lot you can do to avoid a crash a second in front of you. 
Unlike NASCAR, it doesn't actually have any negative consequences on your real life, just annoys you a bit in the races. Now in this car in front of me, I'm I'm thinking is probably the one for position, well one of these cars, there's three cars in front of me, directly, and one of them surely has to be for position, there's a car getting showed up the road, and then that's these, and then there's been a massive crash there, open to Peter, that actually has two cars there, I think that may have been the one that tried to take me out before, I'll say try to, the one that did take me out before I should say. Yeah, coming back now into the verges of the top 10, and I now have a 14 year old in front of me, which, well you shouldn't even be playing GTA yet, but then again I can't say a lot, I was doing the same thing back it back in the day in 2014, so I still want to beat you because I do not want to be beaten by a, by an underage child in a race made for these kind of people, but I still, oh, any race that I want to beat in, of course I want to win, I'm going to make the move, that was a really delayed brake check. People really don't know how to brake check in this race, is what is something that we've discovered. And as we'll discover later on, there is something not exactly, uh, I mean, the objective of a GTA race is to win by any means necessary. And technically the way the, uh, what you'll see later on goes about his business, then technically within the rules of racing in GTA, he's uh, doing it, but against actually legitimately actually competing in the race, You'll, you'll see what I mean in about 10 laps time, I think. I can remember back when I recorded this when I actually started noticing something a little bit off. But either way, they're into the top 10 again, and there's only 40 people left. Right, this isn't looking too good for me. I need to start making up places and making up places quickly if, I have, if I've got any chance of actually doing anything. I mean, I've still lower down than where I started, and there's a big crash there in front, and I don't even know what happened there. And the only way everyone else is going to survive, because it's destroyed last place every lap, so after second to last place crosses the line, it'll blow up last place. If last place and second to last both stop, then everyone else will continue to be in the race still. Also, if someone leaves, then in front of you, that, that bumps you down the order one as well, so someone else will end up getting blown up as well. I'm going to overtake that card up now into P8, this is what I need right now. Also, I need that card to, where are they going? I don't know, I, I need this, these cars from me to work with me. And this car, every car left now is going to be full position. There's no way any lap runners are left still running. Lap 17, so yeah, over halfway through the race. If I can get, I, I'd like a podium out of this, a minimum, but top five, this is only, well, about 10 cars or so left actually in the race. I mean, I, I think I've done this well to actually survive. Well, there's a big crash open front, that's up now into P7. This is going to be P6, yes it is. Going to get in the slow stream of this pink car, which is, I think, is this the one that hates me? I think most people hate me in this race. I'm going to go there inside the line, they're going to give me space, but I'm going that car. Back up now into P4, back into my highest position in this race so far. Going to get in the slow stream of these two cars in front. No one's got pink lights, that's not good. And good dive to the inside line. Now into P2, second place, all right, new heights. Can I, can I even lead this race? Come to the end of the lap, I know there's finish lines here. And they take me out once again, of course they do! I mean, I mean, I get it, it's it's always the same ones though, they must have something against me. They really must, because it's all, it's all these same coloured cars, and they just seem to, it's always, I mean, they're all trying to take out each other as well. Because seemingly being in the same crew or something, they are going to try and help out each other in that, to try and win this race, but, um, well, uh, within, within half a lap, I'm back here again, and there goes the one that was behind me. I mean, if you crash, they've, they've, they've taken out their effective teammate, and then a massive crash again, I'm going to avoid all of them, and I'm going to the lead, I'm to avoid this six-car pileup. And now I lead this race. I was trying to think, what's this race called? And I, I don't even know. Maybe, I, when next time the uh, leaderboard comes up, I think it says the name of the race at the top of it, so... So if past me ever shows the leaderboard again, I don't know what this race is called, but either way, I'm leading it, I'm leading it for half a lap, and I've been taken out. I had my 12 seconds of glory, and I've been taken out again. And I'm facing the right way, no, I'm not spin, recover, alright, that works out alright. I'm not in last place either, which is a good thing, you're gonna actually leave me alone, that's not what I was expecting. Alright, there's a black car behind me, they're gonna give me a little bit of a push, no, that's you go, well, there's a car going the wrong way. Right, I think that must be last place, they've given up, there's another crash in front of me, they've taken out again! Sorry, black car, I think you recovered from that, actually, alright. Ah, oh, P8, this is not good. This is like, there's the temporary people in the race. Nine places right behind me, and 
last place right behind them as well. I could, this, this is it, this is it. Coming up to the line, I'm gonna be no more. Oh, there we go, good in this little one. Yeah, good, slitching, 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 yes, go around the outside like them. Lap 20, I survived it, <laughs> just. That was so close. I just somehow managed to survive it. Douglas Alive, the car goes, why are you stopping? In that exact moment, all oh, right, last place now. Yeah, I, it, it was a good run, oh, actually though. Actually though, this car's going slow in front of me. I, this is my saviour, this black car here. But the Devastate though, I'm pretty sure that is a Devastate. It's quicker than me in a straight line. I just need to break the toe to them. And they're going to be alright, but look at that gap in front. Even if, even if I survive this lap. Unless there's a crashing up in front, I am not surviving the next one. I'm keeping it low to the apex though, I'm keeping it really low to the ground. And I'm pulling away from that car behind, so I mean... It was a good effort from from them as well, but uh, ultimately I don't know what happened because the the devastator is quick. Maybe their car's not fully upgraded. They just managed to somehow survive, and now they're still on to lap 21, and they're still behind me. What? Why are they still here? Uh, someone else has died now, or someone's just spectating anyway. Because there's only yeah, they're still going. All balls is still going. They were. They were the last place car. They still are the last place car. Maybe, you know, maybe, yeah, the game glitches out sometimes. So, um, yeah, maybe, well, they're going to be out this time. Either way, whatever's happening, it's saving me, because they're still behind me. So they're still going to be the one that blows up. And they're going up to the line again for lap 22, is this? Yep. Right, so they're still here. Oh, what? Excuse me? <laughs> I was in front of them! And I'm the one that got- It's them! All balls is the hacker! I, I couldn't remember the name of who it was. I mean, probably for the best. And that's why the reaction there was so dead, because I wasn't expecting that. And- uh, Right, that's- Are we not spectating him? Yeah, we are. Okay. I haven't got any lead- and any, uh, um, map- Come on, there we go. All balls. Yep. He's- yeah. Yeah, I was in front of him, you know. I'm guessing Mr. Spocky was also in front of right. So if if Ollie goes this time, then yeah, then it's definitely, definitely this guy. A nice view of this guy. And um, who's gone this time? Gio Melli. He must have been overtaken by the line, so... Sorry, uh, Giello, you're the uh, the next one to go, it seems. And right then, it's going to be... Uh, is it going to be engine ish or balls? Either that, or the, either that or the game's got some serious like Because this, this guy's absolutely nowhere. I, that's a stock car and all. No wonder he's so freaking slow. He's in a stock car. Driving around the slowest line possible. And, uh, yeah. Right, it is, uh, if engine goes next, then that, that confirms it. There's something up with this. There's something going on with this guy if engine goes next. Across the line, there's another name gone, another name disappeared. Who, who did they? Grim Reaper? Is it Grim? Yep, Grim's gone, I think. Actually, wait, no, Geo's still there. And I'm still in 8th place. Did no one retire on that lap? Or was Grim gone? No, Grim is apparently behind all balls. How can anyone behind be behind a stock car? Injun's now in the lead. Grim, oh, Grim's gone, he's now spectating, so... That took a long time. But what is this guy doing? How is he doing this? I don't even know. This guy. Complete actual stock car. Is he gonna... Why are you waiting? Oh yeah, because you need to be at the back, I'm guessing. They've all had a massive crash. Who's, in there? Who's that guy in front? Lord, um... Lord... Lorden. I'm not gonna call you that. Lord Raiden. Right, if you go next, then there's definitely some up. Over the line, someone's gone. Who is it gonna... Okay, it's not Lord Raiden. It wasn't the car... It still wasn't the car, then it should have been. So we've got Soul Punk, Injun, Lord Raiden, and the guy who finished behind me still going. Okay, so three laps left to go, including the one that we're on. So there'll be one Coletto. It's now Injun that takes the lead of the race. Soul Punk's now down to third. They've had a massive crash. This guy's stopping again. This guy's not all balls. But this race is complete bollocks. I'll give it that. That was a horrible joker, I know, but. I was, I was fuming at the time of recording this race because you think about it. I was the guy. I've been in front of him. Oh, good, he's gone finally. F 
finally is gone. So I should have finished in fourth, because I was in front of this guy. Someone else has gone as well. Wait, what? Why have two people gone? It should have been Injun, Soulpunk, Lord Raiden left. So a far lap of the race, I'm guessing then. Oh, Injun left. So it's Lord Raiden that leads from Soulpunk right behind. And that's an upgraded car like it should be. All Balls is third. What? Give me that P3. I finished third. I was in front of him. I finished third. I finished this race in third. I got a podium out of this. Moral. I got a moral. No, I got an actual podium. I'm not. How am I now in sixth and all? I, I don't understand this race. But now they could go to the line. There's a little bit of contact made. And who won it? It's Soul Punk against the wins. I. What? I finished eighth. Lady Ball says sixth. Now I'm in seventh. Damn, mate. I'm in third. I finished third. Give me a level up all you want. It makes no difference at this point. Level 642. You get nothing. You get actually nothing. At this point now. So GG Soulpunk for being the lucky bugger to actually survive that. But yeah, if you see All Balls... All Balls is now second. What? If you see him in a race, uh, kick him, block him, whatever, immediately. Do all of the above. So yeah, if you enjoyed this race of the race that didn't make sense... I won the race! I finished out of all balls, I won this race. Yeah, so if you enjoyed this, then leave a like on the video. Leave a comment down below, subscribe if you're new, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Remember to give me a follow on Twitter and Instagram, I much appreciate it as well. So thanks for watching, I'll see you all next time.